Before getting onto her bippity boppity work, Disney's 1950 godmother seems to have lost her wand. She looks for it under the bench. She shakes out her dress. Oh, I forgot. I put it away. Moments later, she smiles benignly and nods to send Cinderella off to the ball, still dressed in her rags, before realizing, oh, good heavens, child, you can't go to the ball dressed like that. So our round friend is a little bit absent-minded at times, but she leaves us with an iconic image of fairy godmothers, that they are chubby and cheery. Fast forward now to 2015. For actress Helena Bonham Carter, Disney got rid of the rounded body type, but not the round dress. But Carter takes the pumpkin into the greenhouse to turn it into a coach, and then is nearly squashed by the pumpkin's enlargement. Why didn't she think that one through? So Disney got rid of her rounded body type, but they did, what did they have left? It was the ditziness. Is this airheaded round godmother just a Disney thing? No. From 1950 to 2016, from animation to live action, from Disney to non-Disney, my research finds that most fairy godmothers are either fat or stupid, but more often than not, they are a combination of both. There are a few exceptions to this rule. We have the godmothers from The Slipper and the Rose and The Three Rogers and Hammerstein. They all fall into this category of fit fairies. Not only are they smart, but they also share the fit, idealized body type. And you know something else? They get more screen time than their fat fairy counterparts. So what are we to make of all this? Fit fairies or fat fairies? Um, this increased screen time is problematic because it reinforces our fat-hating culture. It pits the fit bodies against the fat bodies, the smart against the air-headed. Marilyn Wan, leading fat studies researcher, says that the fat-hating culture affects all of us, obese, anorexic, or even skinny, because it gives us the fear that we will all get fat. By giving them more screen time, the ideal fit body type is depicted not only as the ideal, but also the norm. Now we have a large variety of media, so you would think that we would have a large variety of body types with every possible personality combination. The fairy godmothers, godmothers on TV show us that we don't have this variety, that we are watching and therefore believing in only the negative connotations of fat fairies. Thank you.